And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, once again, three rounds this scheduled in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist standing 5 feet 11 inches tall. Weighing get officially 154 and 3 quarter pounds, this veteran professional brings a perfect record that stands at five victories and no defeats. All five wins coming by way of submission from Bo Chirka, Sweden. Here is the undefeated Fernando Gonzalez. And next is the opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. His background is in Bali Tudo. At 5 feet 10 inches tall, he weighed in at the lightweight limit, 156 pounds. A 6'5 veteran, he brings five victories and one defeat into the cage. Fighting out of Newcastle by way of County Derry, Ireland, here is Irish Ryan Ronnie! <laughs> referee in charge of the action, David Swan. A referee, David Swan. About to get the action in this lightweight contest underway. Ryan Roddy in the black. Fernando Gonzalez in the white. And Ryan Roddy has definitely earned himself a few fans here, Josh, with that Jordanian flag that he walked out to the cage with. Yeah, both guys out to the center of the cage very quickly indeed. Ryan Roddy opening up with some straight shots, but some nice shots on the outside from Gonzalez. Good hands on Gonzalez, a beautiful left jab there by Diego Gonzalez, Fernando Gonzalez, excuse me. Uh -huh. And there we see the shot straight off that uh, overhand right. It was nice chaining of the techniques together. Ryan Roddy looking to spread his base as wide as possible and re-pummel for those underhooks. Both these guys known for being very technical fighters. Neither of them afraid of getting into a firefight, if that's what the situation calls for. Yeah, Gonzalez picked up that single leg. Changed the angle very nicely indeed as Roddy looks to scoot his way back to the cage. Can he use it to try and post and walk back up? Ryan Roddy getting straight to work and standing up, but he doesn't want to give his back to Gonzalez. No, but you can see he's doing the right thing, turning into the cage, trying to put the cage between him and Gonzalez and try and scrape the Swede off here. A couple of short punches to keep his opponent guessing, and we talked about it earlier on in the evening, Josh. Great to see these fighters using this cage as a defensive tool now. Great cage awareness from Ryan Roddy. Yeah, again, you can see the posture of Roddy, legs wide as Gonzalez is going to look to connect his hands together. And if he does, Roddy could be going for a ride here. That's a good job of re-pummeling from the Irishman. And now it's Ryan Roddy looking to take the center of the cage. High head kick misses. Perhaps just looking to keep his man guessing there. Already goes low to the inside of the leg and then straight up with the head kick again. Oh. Nice right hand from Gonzalez though. Yeah, that's been a good weapon for him and he's certainly, got, you've got to wonder if there's a takedown coming off the end of any one of these strikes. But it's been very good takedown defense from Roddy so far. Made all the correct decisions. Kicking again to the inside of that lead leg is Ryan Roddy. I mean, Ryan Roddy himself, you know, he does have a couple of wins by TKO. Nice right hand lands again there from Gonzalez. Kick to the body from Roddy. I know he's been doing a lot of mobility and flexibility work, so expect a wide variety of those kicks, but catching the side kick is Gonzalez. Gonzalez is finding a home for that right hand. Nice short elbow from Roddy, though. Ryan Roddy looking very focused in there, but great boxing combinations from Fernando Gonzalez. Hands looking really sharp tonight. Yeah, it's been a long time out of the cage for, for Ryan Roddy, a good 10 months, so just eating a couple of shots from Gonzalez there. Nice, nice head movement there, though, from Ryan Roddy. Let those last couple of shots slip by. He's got to look to throw some counters when he's slipping those shots. Good level change from Gonzalez, driving Roddy back to the cage, who again is getting his base as wide as possible. But you can see Gonzalez has just managed to get the fingers together. And finally, Gonzalez gets the takedown. What's he going to be looking to do from here, Josh? First he's finally got to fight where he wants it. Yeah, he's just got to establish that position, just try and work out what Roddy's going to try and do. And you can see immediately looking to re-establish guard is Roddy. 
Single butterfly hook for him now. And there's a great grappling pedigree at that all-star training center. Yeah, I mean, one of the really nice things about Gonzalez's jiu-jitsu in MMA is he really looks to progress the position. He, he's not often too content to just sit in, sit in one place. You know, he looks to move forward, he looks to attack. Uh, and that's the type of jiu-jitsu you need in, in mixed martial arts to really be effective. Roddy now trying to pull the head down, keep his man locked down, but Sanchez is up and out. Gonzalez, excuse me. Oh, and it's Roddy with the takedown now. Defense just perhaps saving Gonzalez briefly, but you can see how fast Roddy moved forward there. Turnabout is fair play, but Fernando Gonzalez straight back up. And again, searching for that takedown. Roddy looking comfortable here on the cage, riding this one out. You can see when Roddy gets his legs that wide, what it does is try and make his hips and his thighs just, to, you know, the distance that much further apart makes it harder for Gonzalez to really wrap his arms around him. You want that wide, low base in order to defend those takedowns against the cage, and Roddy seems to have that down to a T. Both men coming forward constantly in that first round, Josh. Real back and forth affair, both on the feet and on the ground. Yeah, very, very interesting first round there. You've got to think perhaps a few of the cleaner strikes landed on the feet by Fernando Gonzalez, and uh, you know perhaps a few more periods of pressure up against the cage, but you know a very, very even first round. As we just saw in that replay, the right hand finding a home for Fernando Gonzalez. Ryan Roddy with a nice takedown there towards the end of the round. Yeah, I think just able a, to do a whole lot with it. Just a quick cage grab from. Gonzalez perhaps saved him from the worst of that takedown. Don't forget, if you're on social media this evening, the hashtag CWFCJordan. Let us know what you think of this evening's fights. Of course, don't forget, we'll be back in Newcastle, Cage Warriors, December 7th for a huge show at the Metro Radio Arena. And I feel as though Alan Carlos in the corner of... Fernando Gonzalez is just reiterating some of the striking combinations to him, and he thinks perhaps maybe Gonzalez can win this one on the feet. Already coming out with a one-two, doesn't land in the game. There's the right hand for Gonzalez. Roddy with a nice right hand, though. Right, Roddy giving as good as he gets here in this opening exchange. Oh, and there's. The shots to the takedown for Gonzalez. Really mixing it up to great effect there. Yeah, and we've seen this in position so many times already in this fight. Gonzalez is hitting this entry every single time, but, you know, he's, his completion rate is starting to slip here on these takedowns. How does he go about changing that, Josh? Is, is, there, is there maybe a different kind of takedown he can look for? Yeah, I mean, perhaps he's just got to look to, to get a few different transitions in there. You know, switch off to the single on, on the left-hand side, for instance, there. I mean, he's driving forward for that double very, very well indeed. But, you know, he's, he's losing a little bit in the follow-up from that position. He's letting Roddy establish his base, and that's allowing the Irishman to create the distance again. It's good, it's good defensive grappling from Roddy, though, I've got to say. Gonzalez again letting loose with that right hand. Didn't find a home for it then. And missing by a hair's breadth with that high kick. Gave Ryan Roddy a bit of a haircut there, I think. Well, both guys landing in the pocket there. And neither man scared of a fight here, Josh. No, both guys are happy to stand in exchange. And it's a very composed performance from both of them. Neither one of them, you know, is being wild. They're being overly aggressive. Everybody seems to be... You know, very uh, calm and collected and considered in everything they're throwing. Roddy's corner calling for the knee there. Wasn't able to pull it off. Gonzalez backed away, resets himself in the centre of the cage. Let's see if Roddy uses, I was just going to say, a few more of those kicks. He's had a good success on the outside with them. Gonzalez constantly looking to set up takedowns with his boxing combinations. Nice uppercut there. Moving downstairs to the bread basket and a right hand counter from Ryan Ruddy. And both guys are landing a good number of significant strikes here. Neither one seems to possess uh, the power needed to immediately put the opponent away, but they are going to start building up on either end here. Doubling up on the left hand there was Gonzalez. 
jab and a hook. And Roddy is constantly circling into the right hand of Gonzalez. As you said, Josh, not huge power punches, not knockout blows, but they are landing and they are adding up. Yeah, and what you can probably say is, uh, you know, at this kind of work rate, they can probably keep going like this for the whole fight. You know, neither one is going to burn themselves out too much. And, you know, throwing with 80% power, you know, consistently is sometimes a very, very good option. And you see fighters like Nick Diaz, Nate Diaz, they have a lot of success throwing it's, volume punches. Exactly, it's just volume and it builds up and it wears the opponent down and every time they get hit, they miss a breath and, you know, it just really starts to fatigue them. But again, Gonzalez pushing forward and Roddy looking to defend. Kimura grip perhaps for him. The short elbows there from Ryan Roddy as he tries to figure a way out of this situation. Oh, and switching his head to the outside is Gonzalez, but Roddy... Pushes his base the other way. See how just how wide he's managing to just get his legs here. And defensively, looking very good in this position, Ryan Woody. Yeah, he really is. I mean, it's clearly a motor pattern. He spent a lot of time drilling, um, and certainly all his little nuances of, of defending this position are fairly instinctual. You can see he's pushing the head down now to really sink his base lower, and perhaps he's going to come out on top of Gonzalez here. Gonzalez able to push his man back into the fence. Yeah, Roddy looking for the cross face. See if he can really create some space between his hip and the head of Fernando Gonzalez. Referee Dave Swan asking for a little bit more action here, looking for the fighters to advance their positions. I mean, this becomes an interesting one because people have different opinions about the way you should view this. You know, should you score Gonzalez for being the one pushing forward, or should you be scoring Ryan Roddy for the fact that he's defending? Oh, every... spinning back elbow from Ryan Roddy there. <laughs> Fantastic technique. For the fact that he's defending every takedown Gonzalez is trying to put together. It's certainly an, inter an interesting question, Josh. If it comes down to that, three very capable judges at ringside. Thankfully, they get to make those decisions, and we don't have to. And shucking to the back is Gonzalez. He's not going to have too much time to do anything with it, though. Well, <laughs> anxious moments in the last seconds, perhaps, for Ryan Roddy there as Gonzalez climbs to the back. But very interesting second round in the books. Not quite saved by the bell, but something close to it there for Ryan Roddy. And uh, we've got a really intriguing fight breaking out here, Josh. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be very interesting to see what the judges deemed in terms of the striking. Because I think that's really where that round's going to be decided. Um, a lot of very good defensive grappling from Ryan Roddy, indeed. Beautiful um, spinning back elbow there. But both guys having a lot of success on the feet. Absolutely. We've seen Roddy uh, scoring with that spinning back elbow. He scored with a few nice kicks to the inside of the legs, to the body. Whereas with Gonzalez, it's been all about the boxing combinations. Now, how tired is Fernando Gonzalez? He's really leaning. On his corner there, taking some heavy breaths. And I've got to say, for a guy who perhaps is, well, as you said, in the, the, the walkout round, has never actually been to the third round, this is new territory for him. Absolutely is virgin territory here for Fernando Gonzalez. Undefeated in mixed martial arts. A submission expert. He's not been able to work that submission game on Ryan Roddy, though. He's done a fantastic job of defending the takedown. Around, Still all to play for here right. as referee David Swan starts his third and final round in the Cage Warriors lightweight division. It's a nice two-piece from Ryan Ruddy to start things off. Yeah, what I like is both guys are still throwing very technical strikes. You know, we're here in the third round. They've had a great work rate the whole time. It's a lot of mixed action transitioning their energy systems between striking and the ground. But both guys are still throwing crisp, straight technical shots. It's fantastic. Gonzalez having a lot of success with these punches. Very, very accurate. Volume punching really has paid dividends for him. Already again looking for the kick and a nice knee to the body. And you've got to wonder. Time over. Time, time, time. And there's an accidental eye poke, I believe, there. Referee David Swan calling time. Yeah, I mean, uh, unintentional, of course. I, I think. Uh, Gonzalez is going to get five minutes to recover here. Are you okay to continue? 
And the referee asking yep. the fighter. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Of course, you, you don't get five minutes to recover from an eye poke. I'm sorry. That's uh, me misspeaking. Well, the referee now can determine whether he'd like to call the doctor in and ask the doctor to examine the fighter. But Fernando Gonzalez is good to go. And immediately going back to the boxing combinations. As we said between rounds, Josh, perhaps looking a little bit tired now. But could it be that Ryan Roddy wants to switch to a body attack? You never know. I mean, it was good, uh, good work from Gonzalez to see Roddy overcommit to that strike. But again, the takedown defense of Roddy paying off there. And a kick to the body there from Ryan Roddy. And Roddy's corner telling him to keep busy, perhaps sensing that Fernando Gonzalez has lost a step and a great takedown there from Ryan Roddy brings the Jordanian crowd to its feet. The timing on that takedown from Ryan Roddy was excellent. Saw the strikes coming in, change level, drove straight underneath and I really like the posture on the head here. Some big shots there from Ryan Roddy. He's got his foot on the gas here, Josh. I mean, that's the kind of pace he really needs to keep up for the rest of this fight. Try and leave absolutely no, no doubt that uh, he's going to take this round. Try the left hook to the body there. Could be a key to victory. But that's only the, the second or perhaps third time we've seen him really commit to, to a take. And he scored it straight away. It's Ryan Roddy now with a reverse for Fortunes, pushing his man up against the cage. Good head movement from Roddy to slip those punches. Counters to the body. Follows up with a knee. Ryan Roddy really is listening to everything his corner tells him, Josh. Couple of nice short elbows there, keeping Gonzalez guessing. We've seen this position so much in this fight, Josh. With Gonzalez trying to get that takedown against the cage, but Roddy's base has just been oh, too low. Oh, and this is a good progression from Gonzalez. Earning his way to the back. Roddy's probably going to turn to his right. Good work from Gonzalez to uh, sit down into probably the first extended period we're going to see on the ground here. The submission expert with five submission wins. Let's see what he's made of here oh, in the closing stages of this fight. Yeah, hooks for him now. Ryan Roddy's going to have some hand fighting here to do. This is a bad position for Ryan Roddy, Josh. He said needs to fight those hands. Come on, guys, let's start doing something. Come on. Referee David Swan asking for action. Gonzalez obliging. <laughs> Again, going for that neck. Yeah, I mean, the gloves can create a, a... Oh, and Gonzalez using some of that flexibility to try and trap the arm of Ryan Roddy. Slowly working the crank across the face. He's got a neck crank there, it's Gonzalez. Yeah, no, I think Roddy's going to be pretty safe here. He's turning it into a face bar almost. Painful hold. Yeah, but it is just that. It is, it is pain, and Roddy has managed to transition and save himself a little bit longer, but into the final minute now, and Fernando Gonzalez really taking charge of this third round. Oh, and he's got the body triangle as well, standing body triangle. Bad position here for Ryan Roddy to be in, carrying all that weight on his back so late in the fight. Fernando Gonzalez, no small man, a lightweight. No, but he's going to use the cage to help keep him up here, and Roddy's just going to be fighting the hands the whole time. Gonzalez looking to sink that rear naked choke in. Roddy's hands in the way, stopping it from being fully applied. The clock's running down here in this third and final round, Josh. Yeah, you can see every time Gonzalez sneaks his hand up, Roddy puts both hands onto it, tries to strip it back down, and Gonzalez is slowly working the choke deeper. And Gonzalez grimacing as he squeezes that choke. Time could be his worst enemy here, though. The final seconds of this round. I don't think he's going to get it. He doesn't. But what a dramatic finish to what has been a completely back and forth lightweight contest here at Cage Warriors Fight Night Night. Third round started so well for Ryan Roddy, but just in the transition at the end, Gonzalez worked his way to the back and came very, very close to finishing that one. Let's take a look at some of these replays here. No striking exchange there. And that was that beautiful takedown we saw 
ducks the shot and straight in for the takedown. And here's this painful looking neck crank. Yeah, Ryan Roddy staying very calm, doing everything he needed to do to fight the hands. And we are going to go to a judge's decision here. Both fighters were gesticulating to the crowd at the close of that contest. Both thinking that they've done enough to win this bout. And a great show of respect there as the two fighters embrace in the cage as we await our judge's decision. Both guys getting some cheap pops off that Jordanian flag now. And a great showing from Ryan Roddy coming back off uh, such a devastating injury last year at Cage Warriors. And a long layoff, I know he'll be very happy to, uh, particularly have got that much cage time, you know, he looks on any contest just as a whole overall experience and that much time in the cage I'm sure he will be very happy with. Let's throw this one up to Joe Martinez for the official result. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the scorecards. Here are the judges' totals. Judge Leatherby scores it 29 28 for Gonzalez. Judge Andy Sledge, 29 28 for Roddy. And Judge Oglesby scores it 29 28 for your winner by split decision, Irish Ryan Split decision there in favour of Ryan Roddy and a very, very disappointed looking Fernando Gonzalez. Clearly not happy with that decision. In all fairness, possibly could have gone either way, Josh. Yeah, I mean, that fight by the end of that third round was so close to call. Uh, you know, that is the judge's decision. Fernando Gonzalez isn't happy, but, uh, you know, it's the first time he's ever gone to a decision in his career and you can bet it'll be a learning experience for him and he won't want to let it happen again. Well, that first loss, always a painful one, Josh, but as you say, what a great learning experience for Fernando Gonzalez, and uh, a fantastic return to action from Ryan Roddy, and we'll look forward to seeing him again in action in the Cage Warriors lightweight division. Clearly a big future for this kid.